It's a site China wants the world to take notice of. Lifting off from the Gobi Desert launch pad, Tiangong-1 traces a fiery ascent into space. This unmanned module is a vital part of China's space program. If all goes well, next year it will dock with the as yet unlaunched Shenzhou-8. The test will prove if the communist state has what it takes to build a space station that people can live in. China's aim is to have one finished by 2020. It may seem like a small step considering the US and Russia did this decades ago, but it really is a giant leap for China. The emerging power only launched its first manned space flight in 2003. China's presence in space speaks of its growing confidence back on Earth. The US and Russia are both finding the costs of space exploration increasingly difficult to bear. That leaves a vacuum for China to fill, and space is the biggest vacuum of all. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera. Well, while China moves ahead with lightning speed, there's a feeling that the US is now lagging behind when it comes to space exploration. Al Jazeera's Andy Gallagher is live for us in Huntsville, Alabama, Alabama outside a NASA training facility. Uh, so what do you think, Andy? Are people worried that uh, the uh, American space program is falling behind? Well, surely if you look behind me, you can see the bottom of a Saturn V rocket, a real uh, relic of America's glory days in space. But today, uh, NASA has made a big announcement. In 2016, they will launch the OSIRIS-REx rocket. It will take four years and go into deep space and head towards a near-Earth asteroid. Uh, when it gets there in four years' time, it will scoop up a sample of that asteroid and come back to Earth. Now, why are they doing this? They're doing this because asteroids are the building blocks of our solar system. It really is a way of examining how our planets were formed. Now, this is an $800 million program. Earlier, I spoke to Mark McDaniel, a former NASA advisor, about how significant this program is. I think this nation should do things that have never been, never been done, never been even thought about. Let's do that. Let's do. That. If we do that, then we will inspire the youth of this nation to pursue careers in math, science, and technology. Our nation's falling behind in those fields. You know, when our when our children quit taking courses in math, science, and, and, and engineering, that's not good. NASA can inspire. NASA can make can can can, can inspire these children and these youth to, to do that. So he's very passionate about it, but uh, I mean, do, do people think that the space program is something that Americans should be spending millions and billions on? Well, things have changed a great deal over the years. I know when the shuttle program came to an end, it was a real uh, knock for the American psyche, if you like, because it was a real source of pride. But obviously in the current environment, spending uh, more than half a percent of the GDP on programs for NASA is something that doesn't go down well. This is an $800 million program. It may, may well give scientists uh, big answers on the formation of the universe, but those answers aren't going to come until 2023. I think overall people are still proud of the space program here in America, uh, but whilst their pockets are suffering, they'd rather have the money go to schools, education and to themselves. Okay, Andy, thanks very much indeed for that. Andy Gallagher in Huntsville there.